Yo, 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 what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Jess B, and welcome to the Jess B Show. Y'all, this particular interview right here, though, this on a whole nother level. It's super cool, though, because we on hump day, and I feel like I done finally got over that little hump that you got to go through in life, man. Let me tell y'all who I got on the show. I mean, you obviously can see him, but let me introduce my boy, you feel me? He's an R&B singer. He's a songwriter. A master producer, not the regular kind, but the master kind, you feel me? But most importantly, he's a father. Not only a father to his children, but he's also the godfather of R&B. Mr. Donnell Jones, what's good, bro? What's up, my brother? How you doing, man? Oh, man, I'm happy, blessed, man. man. Yeah, yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for even reaching out to be on the Just Be Show, man. That's dope. That's what's up, man. <laughs> real, real. That's super dope, man. I definitely appreciate you, man. We was talking in the back, man. You said you're in the A right now, right? Yeah, I'm in the A, man. Yep, definitely. That's what's up. And the weather feeling good. How was that? How was that run or that walk? That exercise? Oh, that, oh, that walk is amazing, man. You know, I, I do a five mile walk every day, man. So I, I try to get out and you know just get some air on me, man. Some sun on me. So you know, it feels pretty good. Yeah, that's what's up, man. So you about to you about to drop some new stuff? That's what we talking about today? Yeah, man. I'm I'm, I'm getting ready, man, to put a uh, put out uh, my new joint called you know 100 free you know what i'm saying so i'm really happy about that yeah yeah i'm definitely interested man so i mean it, let's see it's been about let me see every i think last time you know let, let me say this first let's let's put that out there let's create some engagement for the audience <laughs> what i want everybody that's watching to do first of all i need y'all to start a watch party so we can get it popping and get maximum exposure number two i want you to tell me what your favorite donnell jones do not my bad donnell jones song was from back in the day my favorite my favorite part of any song you had bro was sweetie dip did it did it i can't sing but you can but that was my jam bro where i want to be killed it with that but it's been about seven years man since you dropped anything bro yep. Yep. what has life been like for you since then you know um uh, to be honest with you man um seven years ago i released my last album which was uh called forever and um um in the process of of uh create that album man like my life just took a change, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I really, um, I really wanted to change my my uh, my life. I wanted to, you know, do do better. It took me those whole seven years, man, to really figure out uh, how I wanted to live my life. And uh, um, you know, I'm I'm at this point right now where you know I feel like I'm 100% free. That's what's up, man. I love you it know? in you, man. That, I can definitely relate to that, bros, because. Like, uh, you know, I started on a journey this year, man. This podcast started this year. So, again, it's a blessing to even have you on here. But it took for me to learn some things for me to be like, damn, I can do this. I can do this. It's time to express some stuff and and, and show the maturity. You know what I mean? So I exactly. definitely respect everything that you got going on, man. But look, th this is the thing, right? We, we old school. We old school. It is what it is. So with all the new cats out here, the new music and everything, and you not releasing anything, bro, how have you managed to even stay relevant all this time? You know what, man? To be honest with you, man, I mean, the the, the type of music that I make, um, I think it's been able to uh, have this longevity and people still listen to it because everything I everything I wrote was something I, I actually been through. It was a personal experience. Um, and I feel like, you know, when you write from your heart and when you write things that you actually been through, there's other people in the world that go through the same thing that you're going through at the same time. And they, they can identify with that. So, I mean, those records... They'll never go away because there's always going to be somebody in this world that's going to be going through that same situation. Yeah, man, Time you ain't never lied. People don't. You ain't never lied. Ain't that the exactly. truth, boy? Say it again. Times change, but people don't, man. That's 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 real, man. That's that's definitely 100, man. So, I mean, man, let me let me ask you, man. Somebody told me, you know, a bird, a bird told me that, you know, the music industry, you know, they try to keep you silenced, bro. Like. They ain't showing you the kind of credit, you know, giving you the kind of credit you, you need. I mean, what's going on with that? I mean, if, if I'm going to keep it all the way 100, man, I mean, you got to look at it like if 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 you go and you listen to my whole discography of, of music, you can tell, man, like, you know, at LaFace Records, even though I love that company for for giving me the opportunity, I never was a priority on that label. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, their priority was Usher's, TLC's the uh, uh, outcasts, those artists like that. I was never a priority. So, you know, um, even though I had an album full of joints, they only always just released maybe one or two records off the album. They never really went into depth uh, uh, with my with my music. And I, I feel like, you know, my fans uh, missed out on something. But at the same time, you know, it's, it's always good being, a you know, a little quiet too because people, they wake up these days and they, they listen to music and they be like, damn, 
that dude is uh he he he's the guy. You know what I'm saying? So right. Maybe you know maybe yeah. it, was, it was on for for a good reason. Yeah, man, I I can relate to that too, brother. Hey, let, let me ask you this, man. You know, like we said, we a little old school, but you know, the older you get, the wiser you get. So I ain't worried about it being older than most. But what I am concerned about is all this new music that's popping up, brother. It's like these these new cats, bro. I don't know what they got going on. I'm not discrediting their talent at all. You know, right. whatever. To each his right. own. Everybody has a, a a certain level that they're on with their craft. But what do you think about the new artists? Um, to be honest with you, man, I, you know, um, I think all of them are, are talented. I think, you know, my only thing that I would say uh, that's semi-negative is is the fact that the lyrical content is ridiculous. You know, I mean, some of the things we're talking about in these records is is crazy. Like, we're promoting drugs, we we promoting, and we're starting to see a lot of young cats die from overdoses and all these things. And it's, it's a, a direct reflection of the music that we're putting out. Um, you know, like even some of the young girls, man, I, I'm seeing a lot of parents, man, having to discipline their young daughters because, I mean, you know, some of the music they're listening to, they, the women busting it open on these records, man. And these little girls is thinking that it's okay and it's cool to do the same thing on TikTok. And it's, I think it's ridiculous, man. And, and you know, we got to wake up, man, as, as a culture, as a people, and understand that, you know, this is what we're feeding our youth. And our youth is the future. So we got to wake up and, and do better. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it's our fault. You know what I'm saying? If, if we keep allowing these things to happen, you know? Yeah, that's real, man. I, you know what? I'm glad we actually touched on that because um, I, I also have a series called The Civil Discourse where we talk about a lot of things. Me and this young lady, Anaya Brown, we talked about something called the, um, all, what is identification. It was talking about the same thing you was talking about. You know, young girls and black women being exposed to all of this negativity, man. Yeah. And, and, you know, how we grew up, I mean, there was negative things around. Yeah. But how it is now, it's like accepted by everybody. And yeah, I don't like it's, that. It's, it's out there in the open, man. It's, it's It has gotten to a point where, you know, I don't even watch TV no more, to be honest with you, man. Because it's, it's just, it's really nothing on there but a bunch of, you know, it's, it's just a lot of lies. It's a lot of, it's a lot of hateful things. You know what I'm saying? It's, TV is just crazy right now, man. TV and the radio is crazy <laughs> right now. Just the media itself is, is taking a turn for... It's like chaos out there. Yeah, yeah, hands down it is, man. You know what, man, you, you ain't never lie, and it, it's a shame. So I'm, I'm so happy that you're trying to put out a different kind of message, um, you know, just to help instill some positivity into these folks out here. Because the young generation, bro, they need they need folks like us to put some real game in their ear. <laughs> well, you know what, hands man, my down. whole thing is, is, is uh, from the beginning of my career, man, I've always sung about love. You know, love ain't going nowhere. You know, um, there's so many different aspects of love, makeups, breakups. I mean, no matter what you go through in life, you're always going to be happy and you're always going to be sad. And those moments, like songs, are supposed to help us get through those moments. You know, not right. add to it. You know, um, I remember, man, when my grandma used to play um, um, Frankie Beverly and all those crazy records, man, back in the days, man, that it just made you want to get up and groove. It made the whole family want to dance together. That's what I miss. I miss those type of records, man. And I feel like that's the kind of music that I make. And that's the kind of music I want to bring back. Because, um, you know, right now, man, it's I feel like music is kind of demonic in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Just the way that, you know, the, the things that we're saying and how it's being portrayed and on, on videos and all this kind of stuff. It's just a little right. bit ridiculous at this point. Right, yeah, we need to get back to the music with some substance, the kind of music yes. that speaks volumes, not only to just your ears, but to your soul. That's exactly. that kind of, you know, like the Soul Train line and all that yes. stuff, the electric yep. slide. We need that that good good music to come back, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah, 100, man. So speaking about music, brother, speaking about music, bro, what motivated you? You know, what gave you the inspiration to even want to release a seventh album? Um, you know what, man? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a musician, man. I mean, I, I love music. I got so many songs and I, I work a lot on music. So, um, what inspired me to, to do this was, you know, the time that we're in right now, you know, 2020 has been a, uh, a, a crazy year for all of us. You know, um, it's really opened my eyes up and made me see life a different way. Even though I was already on this journey, um, to becoming a better person, this right here, this year really, really set forth and, and, and made me really, really focus on on changing my life completely. And I think that's what we all need to do. Um, and by me um, um, coming out with this particular record 100% free, I felt like, you know, we're in a time where 
you know, people are not really making a lot of money no more. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people got laid off their jobs. Why try to take from them even more? Why not give them something for free? You know, God blessed me with this talent and, and, and he didn't charge me for it. So why charge the people for this music? I'm going to give it to them and I'm going to give it, it just because it's free don't mean the quality going to be less. One thing I say is that you can't compete against something that's free and good quality. So that's what I'm going to give them. Oh, man. Well, that answers one of my questions, brother, because I definitely wanted to know how much was this album even going to cost? But you just said this is going to be free. How dope is oh, that, y'all? Yeah. How dope is that, y'all? It's free. So that means y'all better cop the album. You feel me? You got to cop the album. It's a free yeah. album, yo. And if y'all know Donnell like I don't know Donnell, it's always quality music. It always touches your soul. It makes you feel good. It's that feel good music, man. It's authentic and I love it, man. I really do. So speaking about 2020, brother. Y'all, everybody out there know. As a matter of fact, I want everybody in the, all the people that's viewing and listening, tell me what has 2020 done for you personally? What is, has it built you? Has it broke you? I want to know. Let me know. But brother, what about the importance of this election right now? How, how, how just explain to the people, brother, how important it is to vote, especially in the times we're in right now. It, it is, it's, it's absolutely, uh, you got to vote. You got to get out here. You got to, your voice needs to be heard. Uh, if you're 18 to, to, to 100, get out here, man. Show this world what you mean. And, 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 uh, and let's make a statement. You know what I'm saying? Because oftentimes we don't, we don't get out here. We don't vote. We don't show uh, uh, our appreciation for, for the people that, 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 that passed away, that, that helped us get to this point right now. And um, like I say, man, we really, really need to, show this world that you know we here we, we count we can make a difference and we can you know um i, I honestly if, if i'm going to say anything about the, the candidates i don't really feel like we have great candidates this time around but that doesn't mean that there's other uh, uh like there's judges there's there's there's, there's uh senates all that we need to vote and make sure that we put the right people in place in your state your town your, your county all of those things matter man so um make sure you vote it's very important. And uh, if you don't vote, you really can't say nothing. Hey, I agree with you. I tell that to a lot of people. Like, look, if you don't get up and vote, you know, you really can't have no say so nothing. I'm just saying. Right. <laughs> I'm just right. saying, man. And um, I definitely agree. I, I'm, I'm not I try not to go too big on politics because I have my own personal yeah. opinions. You feel me? Yeah. And um, I'm in the media industry as well. In your opinion, people be paying attention all the way, you know, but uh, like you said, man, there there are other candidates to vote for. There's other causes to, to you know, put a put a front foot forward and vote for, yes. man. Yeah. Um, yes. The world is crazy right now. So what I want to say to the audience is, is if you can get up and make it to the mall to go get those brand new kicks that just released, you can get up and make it to them toes and go vote. And help make a change I'm out here, y'all. Real talk. I real talk. Standing in line for them Jordans, yo. So, yeah. Come on, hey, I'm telling you, for, for like two days, though. <laughs> for real. For real. Yeah, for like two days, <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? So, so, make sure, you know, you get out there and vote. Yeah. Hell yeah. Vote, y'all. For real, for real. So, man, tell me, man, what can we look forward with, with when we listen to 100% Free, man? To tell us a little bit about it, brother. Uh, you know, in all my music, man, it's a message, man. But it's, was a feel good message, you know. It, 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 I'm not preaching to you. I'm just happy. We're gonna have some fun. It's gonna be some love songs. It's gonna be some, um, you know, some, some get it in with your, with your girl songs. It's gonna be some dance songs. You know, I'm only doing seven records because um, it's my seventh album, but I'm also releasing another album right after that in uh, in 2021, which is gonna be called Elevate. And um, you know, I'm just having fun, man. I'm enjoying uh, doing music again, and um, you know. I'm just happy, man, that, uh, you know, the God is still blessed me to be around. And uh, I just want to thank my fans, man, for, for rocking with me for all these years, you know, because it's, it's been a ride. Yeah, man, that's cool, man. Hey, and we happy you still rocking, brother. I'm telling you, sure. hey, look, let me say this, man. I done got so many girlfriends and stuff from listening <laughs> to your music. I'm like, hey, yeah, let me do a song to you, girl, real quick. I can't sing good, but I be trying. <laughs> yeah hey so i gotta ask you man media person to media person so to speak i know when i do this podcast man it takes a lot of work a lot of work it, it's so much to it to make it happen but i do it because i love supporting my people 
hands that I really, really love supporting people. I'm a 100% supporter, man. But what's the process like for you when it comes to writing, performing, producing, publishing, and all that, especially with doing it to your own album? Uh, for me, man, you know, when I'm writing, um, it has to be something that I, like I said, something I, I go through. Um, if you listen to every album um, that I've created from the beginning all the way up until now, um, you would see exactly where my life was at that particular time. And, and, and you would understand exactly what I was going through because I always speak my, my truth and my music. Um, and you and this one is going to be no different. But, you know, when I'm in that creative mode, I like to uh, I like to get in the studio, light some candles. Um, the scene is, is, is low lit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just really focused on what I'm trying to do. When I'm creating music, um, um, I like it to be lit up. And but when I'm writing, it has to be low and it has to be, you know, like my mindset has to be really focused on what I'm doing at that time. Right. That's cool, man. You got to have that peace, that calm, that serenity. You know what I mean? So I get it, man. And that's like when I'm when I'm when I'm coming up with content, I'm the same way. You know, I got to like shut stuff down, get off the phone, stop talking to people so I can really focus because right. <laughs> we like the surroundings matter. So I, I, I get what you stand from that, man. Um, let, let me ask you, man. You 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 are from Chicago, correct? Yes. Man, Chicago. It, it, there's no secret that it's hard. It's hard in it Chicago, is. you know. But how has being from the South Side of Chicago at that? How has it played a role with your music career and your role as a father? Um. Well, I mean, my role as a father. Um. You know, I, 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 I had a great father. So for me, it's, it's easy to be a, a great, great father when you when you have a great father. So um, that part is easy. But uh, the role that played in, in, in my music is, you know, um, my mother played a lot of great records when I came up. You know, the Ivy Brothers, Gene Carn, uh, Teddy Pendergrass, just, just a lot of great music. And, um, and, and I think that's what played a role uh, in my music. And also growing up on the South Side. You know, um, um, seeing a lot of uh, street violence and all that. You know, that's that's where the beginning of my my, uh, my musical career came from. Like songs like "In the Hood," um, um, "Yearning," and all that. That that really touched on those on those particular times in my life. Yeah. I feel you, man. That's 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 cool, man. I'm I'm, I'm from Vegas, though. You know what I mean? I don't know nothing about no Chicago life. <laughs> but it's, tough, um, man. I... It's, it's, it's some it's it's some crazy stuff going on in every city. You know. Yeah, true. That's true. Because we do, we know we got our struggles out here too. We do, and we're in the city of seeing it. It goes down all the way out here. I'm, I, you've been here, so you know it, it gets wild out here, brother. Um, I got a couple buddies from Chicago though, man, and they they all pretty much say the same thing. Like, bro, it was hard growing up. It was hard growing up, but I had to do what I had to do to get to where where I'm going. And though all of those people that I do know from Chicago, brother, they're 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 blossoming every day. You know. Every year they're becoming something better, something new, and and I appreciate it, man. Any anybody that's on a mission to be better than the day before, bro. Like I live by that, so I respect anybody that's doing it, brother. Like hands down, man. So I, I gotta ask you, man. Um, I got one more question to go towards everything we're talking about, and then I got a personal question I want to ask you. Um, but for for other for other artists. That's, you know, maybe in maybe they dealing with bad deals, dead in, you know, dead in situations, independent and they want to be independent and stuff like that. Like, what's a piece of advice you can give to them? I would say, um, you know, if, if you in the last stages of your contract, um, you know, just fulfill your agreement and, and look, always try to be original. You know what I'm saying? Never try to like, like be like somebody else. Um, that's another thing that, 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 that I find that's that's a little strange is that every song nowadays, it sounds like one long song on the radio when you listen to it. So never try to follow what somebody else is doing. Always try to be original. Learn from the greats. Um, and just, you know, just perfect your craft. You know what I'm saying? People say that, you know, you, you got to practice. But yes, that's true. You definitely have to practice in order to, to become great. And that's with anything in life. Whatever you practice at, you'll become great at it. And then you'll be, become a master of that. So just continue to do that. And um and the sky is the limit. No, not not even the sky, man. And nothing is the limit. It's like Master P. No limits, baby. No limits. No limits, all. soldier. <laughs> That's cool, man. Um, let let me uh you know let me just ask you. I got two last questions. One is 
now that you do feel 100% free, mind, body, and spirit, how does that feel? Like, in, in a whole, how do you feel as a man? Oh, oh man, amazing, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I wake up every day and I don't have to worry about, you know, yesterday. Everything is fresh. Everything is new. Everything is amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever happened yesterday, that I leave it there. So every day for me is like a birthday. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's, it's, everything is fresh. It's new. And that's how I feel like God is. Everything is fresh. It's new. It's, it's amazing. Nothing can beat that feeling, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people think that uh, uh, you go through life and, and, and let me put it like this. If you think that having an orgasm is amazing, just imagine what it feels like inside. Feel that way all the time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying that's how I feel. That's how I feel. Okay, okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And then uh, my final question for you, brother, is, you know, I have a list of people who inspire me every day, man. But who inspires Donnell Jones? Um, you know, my inspiration comes from a lot of things, man. Just just watching my family grow. Um, you know, I have two grandkids, man, just watching my daughters get older, watching my son grow, watching my mom get older, watching myself, you know, watching my family expand, you know, um, it's a beautiful thing, man, when you can, you know, when you go from a child and now you have your own tribe and now your tribe has a tribe and now, you know, it, it, it just keeps growing and growing and growing. And uh, that's why I say we have to leave something behind for, for, for our families and we have to make sure that we uh, set a great example for these children and for the, the people that's going to come after us because i mean yo it, it, it is our future you know what i'm saying even when we're gone they still will be here sweet man sweet that's that's cool that's cool Fa family is definitely a big thing man and um i'm hoping that one day i'll be able to also leave behind an entire legacy <laughs> <laughs> to my loved ones as well man that that'll that'll mean the world to me brother so the way that i like to end the show brother is i like to ask all of my guests for one piece of advice. But today is a special day. Um, not only because we're connected, but somebody on my social media posted, a, you know, uh, published a post and it said that more black men, more brothers need to come together and have conversations like this versus dealing with hating and trying to shoot each other and, and you know, everything being negative. So if you can give right. one piece of advice to other brothers like us, what would that be? I would be, man, you know what? It, it is very important for us to let go of our little boy habits and become a man. The reason why we keep going through these things in life is because we have to keep repeating the process and until we actually learn what we're doing wrong. You know, so don't keep repeating over and over again. Figure out what it is that, that, that you're going through and, 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 you know, elevate, you know what I'm saying? Get over it, elevate, leave that in the past and move forward in life, man. I mean, again, we have to let go of these young boy habits, man, and become men out here in this world. Yeah, hands down, man. And that reminds me, um, uh, you know, I got a buddy of mine. I wore this particular shirt that says man on it. Um, it's my buddy's brand. Um, it, it means maturity after nonsense, you know, and I can relate to that. I can resonate with that. So what I want to tell the, 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 the other men in the world is, is it's maturity. You become a man after the nonsense literally stop like donnell said stop running off these little boy games we all play you know it, it is what it is we we transition into different versions of ourselves as we get older hopefully everybody does that and um just continue to do what you're doing brother you know i'm definitely excited to hear the new album man i'm definitely gonna get it for sure <laughs> And um, thanks again, man, for showing up and showing out for me, brother. Like I told you before, man, it's my birthday coming up this weekend. Happy this is one of the you. best birthday gifts. Thanks, bro. Thank you. This is one of the best gifts that I've gotten in a long time. A chance to just chop it up and be authentic with the real one, bro. I used to listen to you all day long when I was younger. So, uh, again, thanks for chopping it up with me, man. Thanks for the advice. To all my audience members, go follow my boy Donnell Jones on IG at Donnell Jones forever, y'all. On everything. Go check him out. Thanks again for checking it out. And I like to end it like this. If anybody know me, you know how I do it. It's three things I got to tell everybody. The first one is to smile, laugh, and definitely motivate. Inspire one to inspire all. And last but not least, let's get it.
yo, just be the best version that you can be of your damn self. I love